This is the touchline on Y25, of course, we're speaking to someone who forms an integral part as far as motorsport in the country's concerned president of Kenya Motorsport Federation are now doubling up as the chief executive officer of World Rally Championship, Mr. Phineas Kimathi. Good to speak to you, sir. Good. Good afternoon. How have you been? I've been well. Uh, maybe talk to us about the readmission of Kenya into FIA World Rally Championship by 2020. Of course, plans are underway. How is the progress so far? Well, we have a lot of ground to cover and um, we're working very hard. I think uh, the government of Kenya has come in very strongly to you know, lay the foundation of uh, this project to bring back a World Rally Championship status. As you very well know, um, Kenya used to be part of the World Rally Championship up to 2002 and uh, we lost that opportunity and uh, that's what we are going uh, to try and recover. Uh, what are the factors that you can attribute to Kenya's, you know, failure to be uh, and to participate uh, on world stage is concerned? Maybe the factors that contributed to Kenya's failure in between from 2002 to right about now? Well, we all know that um, 2002 was a bad year for us in motorsports because we should not have lost uh, the World Rally Championship status if everything was running fine. But, um, well, we don't want to go back to what happened. Uh, we know a few things really didn't work well, and we now want to focus on what is it that we can do to return to World Rally Championship come 2020. And um, we do understand that uh, motorsports, and particularly World Rally Championship rallying has changed a lot because the requirement is um, towards a closed stages, or call it private land, rallying, which means that uh, you are in full control of the, um, of, of the stages. You do not expect to find a border border, you know, right in the middle of the road or a matatu which is just stopped or just stalled. So that is one of the things uh, we are supposed to uh, achieve before we go back to World Rally Championship. We all know very well that government is a paramount factor as far as these major events are concerned. In terms of dedication and commitment from the government, how is the situation so far like? And uh, probably uh, the committee members who are formed and put in place to spearhead the success of the event. Well, we have two um, committees. We have the steering committee, which acts as the board of uh, the whole project. Then the steering committee, the chairperson, is actually the cabinet secretary. And um, we have the permanent secretary, or the principal secretary, sorry, in the Ministry of Tourism and in the Ministry of Sports uh, forming part of that. And we have a private sector representation. We have the um, group CEO of KCB uh, serving in that uh, steering committee in the board. We have uh, uh, Jesse Rai, uh, who is a renowned businessman and a supporter of motorsports, as you very well know, he sponsors the Cabras a team where we have about eight cars coming from more or less uh, the, same, the same group. So he's a real enthusiast. And we have Jim Kaumbura, who is also part of motorsports for many years, and myself. That now forms the steering committee, or call it the board. And then we have the local organizing committee, or the organizing committee, the OC, where I also serve as the chairman and I give direction on exactly what we are supposed to do. Um, and in this, that committee, again, we have very strong government uh, representation. We have the Ministry of Interior taking part uh, in, in, in that uh, uh, organizing committee. We have tourism coming in again. We have infrastructure and um, we have uh, now the Ministry of Youth that is in charge of uh, uh, the National Youth Service, because we need a lot of, you know, people helping us put together a credible event. How is the feel among the stakeholders of rally in the country? I know it's a prestigious opportunity and a lot of Kenyans, uh, not only those who participate in the sport, uh, but, you know, several Kenyans uh, are looking forward to this particular event. How is the feel and probably what's the significance of this not only sports-wise, but even on the basis of tourism? Well, first of all, um, this is a great opportunity for Africa to go back to 
what I would call the world map. Because the message we, the message I've taken out there for the last two years is that uh, how can you have a World Rally Championship without the continent of Africa? And uh, that question is uh, what I believe the international community, uh, more so uh, those who are involved in organizing uh, the WRC are trying to address. And uh, the journey has not just been a Kenyan journey. It is an African journey. And in 2016, I made a presentation in Addis Ababa. And uh, we all agreed to push for two events in the world calendar. One being the World Rally Championship and another uh, World uh, Cross Country Championship, or call it Autocross. And South Africa, for your information, went for the, um, the Autocross Championship, or the Rallycross Championship. And they've already gotten their event because that is relatively easy to organize. And then Kenya now was backed by the entire African continent to go for um, the World Rally Championship. And then we said we need a time because, you know, we need to put a lot of structures in place before we're able to host a World Rally Championship. And that's why we gave ourselves a three-year period to prepare for that. So this year, we're running an Africa Rally Championship uh, next week uh, on the, from the 16th, 17th, and 18th around Naivasha. And then after that, um, we're expecting a very senior people from WRC. Um, we expect that they're going to give us a, the opportunity to host 2019 candidate event for World Rally Championship. And then eventually, we should find ourselves back into WRC. Previously, Kenya has always been on the brink of, you know, hosting some of these major events, but, you know, losing on the hosting rights during the last minute. So we saw Chan, as far as football is concerned, but uh, <coughs> World Youth Championships, as far as athletics is concerned, was successfully hosted in Kasarani. In terms of preparations and structures, do you think it's all systems go? Well, first of all, I have a very strong chairman now um, in the name of my cabinet secretary who is very passionate about sports. I uh, had an opportunity to have a chat with him. And he, last week he visited our offices. Th that shows the commitment that he has for this particular project. I have a very strong PS, uh, who is also very passionate to make sure that these things happen. If you remember, these are all new people because the PS came in uh, last, last year, I think, in in May, and the CS is a few weeks old. So we're working hard to get that going. I think what matters is who are the drivers of some of these projects and how passionate are they? So I would say that they are ready to get things going. Now, broadcast has been one of the pivotal factors as far as all these events are concerned. And there has been that worry of you know some of these events being broadcasted in terms of you know media rights what can you tell us about it so that even if the event is hosted in Kenya it's in the knowledge of public domain and those who are at home can also have a chance to you know view the same yeah as you very well know uh, every country has a national broadcaster and um, part of the um, requirements for a national broadcaster is to make sure that a huge event like the Safari or World Cup, for example, does not uh, get blocked from being viewed by the Kenyan people. So I expect that uh, when we get to that point where we're talking about um, broadcasting rights, whatever the government is supposed to do, I believe that they will be able to do that through the national broadcaster, who are KBC. And as far as African Rally Championship is concerned, and probably Kenya National Rally Championship progress, how is the situation like? Um, we're making very good progress, and uh, we have sent people out there to look at the route, the normal things that we're supposed to do, that conform with the Federation International Automobile, which is the governing body for motorsports, or call it FI in short. 
And um, for the first time, the government has committed funds to even improve the roads. Because then uh, we have the CEO of the World Rally Championship coming uh, next week to actually uh, be part of the safari and experience the safari first hand. It is his first time in Africa. And he's coming with uh, one more director from WRC. So we wanted to make sure that we have a route that is not, you know, the very, very rough terrain that uh, we're used to in Africa. So part of what the government is doing or and the organizers is to improve the stages. So we have a contractor on site who has been working on the route uh, for the past five weeks or so. And we have one of us... Uh, who has been supervising on behalf of the organizing committee on a daily basis, who is actually based there until the end of this week. I know the rains have come and uh, certain areas that were marrowed uh, got washed away. We're sending a team again tomorrow. And last weekend, uh, we had a huge team there looking at the stages. Otherwise, everything else is uh, taking shape and um, it's all systems go. What's your assessment about the level of competition witnessed so far? Well, there's something that uh, Kenyans need to know about uh, the level of competition in terms of rallying in this country. We are actually number one in Africa in terms of uh, the cars we're using and in terms of uh, the quality of our national championship. Um, this is one country where we have uh, cars uh, called now R5s which are very close to the WRC car. The next stage after the R5 car is actually a WRC car. And the WRC car you can't buy. So the highest level you can buy in terms of rally car is an R5. And um, you know that uh, Kenyans have been winning uh, the Africa Rally Championship uh, for the last three running years. Uh, we had Don Smith uh, who won a few years back. Um, then we had um, uh, Jasprit Chate who won in 20, uh, 2014. And then we had uh, Manville uh, who, who also won uh, last year, 2017. So all in all, Kenyans don't win because they are favored by anybody. It is because we have the best talent in this country. And that's why we also have the richest heritage in rallying because the safari started in 1953 and it's been running up to this year. Although there are challenges between 2002 uh, of not being part of the World Rally Championship, it has always been there. Since WRC was founded in 1973, the safari has been part of uh, the WRC um, heritage and that's where we want to take it back. I think the other thing that um, we need to mention is um, this is a serious economic driver. Uh, the rally is not just fun. Yes. Um, we're looking at uh, approximately 700 million viewers around the world watching WRC every single year. That is way beyond <clears throat> um, many other sports. The only other sport that would rival rallying in terms of viewership is World Cup and Olympics. Otherwise, after that, then you have WRC. And these are statistics that, uh, you know, you can pick from CNN, Associated Press, and so on. They, 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 they've, they've actually put rally as the third most viewed uh, sport or uh, world championship after the first two. Finally, there has been this outcry from, you know, former athletes in general in various sporting disciplines. As far as your federation is concerned, how have you partnered with probably former rallying stars and icons who have done this country proud before, during their heydays? Well, if you look at uh, the way we've designed this office, uh, we're trying to put as many images as possible for people who did Kenya proud and people who rose 
to represent this country. And uh, if you just take a walk around here, you feel like you're in a rolling museum. We have many, many images of people who took part from 1953 to present day. So that is part of the recognition that we are giving them. And we have many, many Kenyans who made the safari or who, without them, the safari was not what it should have been. Um, the FI president, who is also the special um, United Nations uh, Secretary General envoy for road safety, yes. visited this country just to come and launch this project. And that was a big honor for Kenya, for Africa. Um, he is a very, very busy man. He was here for only 36 hours and we couldn't get him longer than that. And he still had to attend other meetings uh, at the United Nations. He, had, he met our president who assured him that uh, everything is on course as far as this particular project is concerned. Overall, your parting should? <clears throat> your final word as far as rallying is concerned? Oh, motorsports, just like athletics, is a very individualistic uh, sport. And um, we don't have, for example, Team Kenya, uh, but uh, we have Kenyans taking part. I, my request to the corporate world is to support particularly the indigenous drivers in terms of sponsorship we have talent, because then we do not want to bring um, the rally back to Kenya and Africa. And we don't have a single uh, local boy or girl uh, taking part at, at an eye level. So my personal appeal, as the government puts it effort to bring the safari back, and the corporate world comes to support us because it cannot just be government, we also would like to see the local corporates who operate in Kenya supporting a number of our young drivers to make it because this is a very expensive sport and by the time you make enough money to rally then you're probably my age and it's time to retire. So if the corporate world can please support some of our young talents so by the time we get back to WRC, we have a few of them, at least starting in the top 20. Mr. Phineas Kimathi, an important aspect as far as rallying in the country is concerned, Kenya Motorsport Federation President, and doubling up as Chief Executive of Software Rally Championship Project, speaking to us on the touchline on Y254. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, sir, and we shall be looking forward to hear from you next time, comprehensively probably with regards to the update of the same and going forward. Thank you and all the best. Asante sana. Cheers, ma.